what is this? What is going on here? My hair is just playing with me today. What is going on? Like a crazy cat lady. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Um, so I have literally been doing nothing all day, hence why I look incredibly glamorous right now. Um, but I thought, let's do something productive and let's film a YouTube video. So that's what I decided to do. I was like, do I wanna do a haul? Do I wanna do, just chat to you guys? I thought, let's kind of combine the two together and film. Um, this. So yeah, so I decided to film this video for you guys, which is the 10 things that I can't live without, which sounds really dramatic, considering the things I'm going to show you. I mean, obviously I could live without them, I just don't want to. Um, so it's, yeah, so basically these are the kind of things that my go-to, pretty much use every single day, cannot live without. Um, must have items so yeah um, and also I feel like it'll give you a little bit more of an insight into me as well because I feel like it says a lot about someone the things they can't live without so um, yeah really hope you enjoy watching also before I get started my jumper is from White Fox Boutique for anyone that might be wondering okay so the two things that I'm going to start off with are basically things that I can't live without because they basically have a big part to play in my job, I suppose you could say. So the first thing is the Olympus pen. Um, this is the EPL7 um, and I take all, pretty much all my Instagram pictures with it. Um, some on my iPhone, it just depends, but this is literally my best friend. Um, it doesn't actually come with a black lens, my lens broke when I was in Jamaica because I just used it so much and yeah so this one should be like a silver colour um, but yeah this camera is insane for outfit photos absolutely amazing for that I wouldn't say it's overly amazing for like selfies I don't really use it for that um, and I don't know if I rate it that much for vlogging either but obviously predominantly my favourite thing is obviously taking outfit photos and all, all that kind of stuff so and Instagram pics so for that it is amazing so then from that obviously because I take my photos on that I want to get them onto my phone like so I can edit them and put them on the gram um, and so this little thing has become my second best friend because you literally put your memory card from your camera in it put it into the bottom of your phone and it just pops up and you just select all the pictures you want from your memory card and it just goes really quickly onto your camera roll on your phone so it is an absolute game changer, like this is just the best, oh, the best thing and it comes everywhere with me. So next I'm going to go slightly along the beauty route because obviously I had to have that in there. Fake tan is my life and this one especially, so this is the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark. It's pretty much the only one I ever wear, so if you are ever looking at me thinking what tan am I wearing, it is this one. It is literally my ride or die, it's just amazing. Um, I honestly feel like it's the only self tanner that gets me like really really dark um, and I literally do like I bathe myself in it like I fully like soak my body in it and then just like stew overnight and then wash it off in the morning and but it is amazing and it works every time and with their um, self tan remover it gets off really easily because then you can exfoliate, moisturise and kind of do it all again so I think that is the tea, the tea, the key to a really good tan is exfoliate, moisturising and then reapplying because obviously your tan is going to go crusty after a while so you've got to keep doing it to keep it fresh which yes I know is an effort but you end up slaying a bit more so it's kind of worth it. <laughs> Next thing that I cannot live without is dry shampoo. There's really not much else to say about it apart from it's life. Like by the end of the week yes my hair is like 99% dry shampoo. I'm basically that meme because I have extensions Washing my hair is the longest thing ever, ever. Um, so I avoid it at all costs. So yeah, so dry shampoo is like my saving grace. And then last kind of beauty-ish product is my absolute ride or die, my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I had to have this in here because I thought, right, 10 things I can't live without, this is it right here. Absolute favorite foundation. I just think it's insane, like honestly, and it's one of those ones that like everyone always says, what foundation are you wearing, like always comments on my skin when I'm out and about, They're like, or I'll be like going up to a till to like buy something when I'm shopping and they'll be like, oh my god, your foundation, or like, it looks amazing, so honestly guys, you need it in your life, it's pricey but it's insane. Okay, so I kind of lied because these are definitely still along the beauty route, but um, it, these are my two absolute favourite perfumes, I am a Tom Ford um, kind of orchid, I suppose you say, because these are all the variations of their orchid fragrances. Um, I love black orchid, but my sister and my mum wear it, so I obviously don't want to smell the same as literally everyone in my family. Um, so this is the newest one they got, which is 
insane. It smells so good. It's very kind of like, it's more kind of summery I'd say. And then this one is the Velvet Orchid and oh my god, they're incredible. I like to kind of have two different perfumes to alternate between because I feel like then people can smell it more. Which is probably complete crap and actually isn't the case but I feel like it, it works like that. So yeah, these are the, if I'm going to smell like anything it will be these two. Plus I am an absolute sucker for packaging and they just both look so pretty so they're a vibe. So this is kind of a random one, um, but I, and I've finished my big one so I'm going to have to use my little travel sized one to show you guys, but basically I'm not the best sleeper, like I find it so hard to sleep, I think it's just because like, I feel like because I'm always switched on, like I'm constant, my brain is just in constant like what can I do next, like what am I doing next, what's going on, like where am I, what am I doing, like I'm just go 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 all the time, like no chill I swear to god. Um, so I, I don't know if that means like just stops me from sleeping. Um, so I have this pillow spray in my life which is from this works and it's the deep sleep pillow spray and honestly like I've kind of been obsessed with it now for like two years and I feel like when I'm really struggling to like sleep it just works like even smelling it now oh my god it smells so good. Uh, it's like lavender kind of like but it smells a bit like a spa it's that kind of thing um and it, honestly it's it's insane this is my travel one but um because i finished my big one which is normally by my bed but um if you're struggling with sleeping i recommend trying this because it works for me so hopefully it'll work for you guys but and it just smells really nice as well even if you do sleep really well but you just want to be bougie af when you're in bed just get yourself one of these because you just smell amazing so next up this is what i mean about this video being like 10 things i can't live without i can live without this item but I just don't want to. Um, so this is my absolute favourite handbag. It is my YSL um, crossbody bag. I bought it in New York this year and it's literally probably one of my favourite ever designer purchases. Um, I just love the kind of like crocodile leather and I love that it's all black everything and I wear it honestly. I use it all the time. Like It was so expensive really. Um, it was such a splurge but I love the fact that I do use it all the time, I feel like it was totally worth it. So yeah, it's probably I my go-to bag, absolute go-to. Um, because yeah, I do buy some designer stuff, like which is interesting actually, because would you guys be interested in seeing like a more high-end haul? Because obviously I'm, I love high street and I am very high street, so I don't want to like do one if it's not something you guys actually care about. But I have bought some new stuff recently that, you know, I would be happy to show you guys if you're interested. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. But yeah, so that's my favourite handbag that I cannot live without. Okay, so this has definitely gone from 10 things I can't live without to 11 things I can't live without. Because inside my handbag was my nude lipstick that is my all-time favourite and it is MAC Myth lipstick. I'm wearing it now. I wear it in pretty much every single one of my Instagram photos. I absolutely love it. I just think it's like the perfect nude. So if you ever wonder what nude lipstick I've got on, it's probably going to be this one. Okay, this one is hilarious and it's so personal but why not? Um, and I could not have a 10 things I can't live without video without the one thing I really cannot live without, which is my stuffed animal that I sleep with at night. Yes, I'm 23 years old and I still sleep with a stuffed animal. If you do as well, please let me know in the comments below so I know I'm not alone, because I really don't think I'm going to be alone in this. So this is Squidgy. Squidgy, as you can see, is an elephant. And I've had Squidgy since I was about four years old. And we've been through a lot together, shall we say. Squidgy knows all my secrets. Um, and honestly, like, it's just like, it's like a, such a comfort for me, like, it's just home. Like, honestly, it's just, I sleep so much better when I'm squidgy. Like, when I travel, and I go away with brands and stuff, like, obviously my suitcase is just filled to the brim with, like, clothes and shoes. And squidgy is very large, so he doesn't really fit in a lot of the time. So I'm always just, like, in hotel rooms, like, cuddling, like, a pillow or something that would re resemble him. It's really funny. Um, but one time, Becky and I went to Turkey this year, and I didn't have to take much, and there was room for Squidgy, and it was honestly, like, the highlight of my life. And then when we got back to um, Gatwick Airport, my suitcase was taking forever to come through, and all I kept thinking about was, I don't care about the clothes, all I cared about was Squidgy. I was like, what well, as if I've lost Squidgy? Like, it was like the worst thing ever. So, um, yeah, 
that's it guys, that's, uh, that's, that's Gridgy. So as I say, let me know below if you've got an animal, let's share this together, or just anything random that you actually have to uh, like cuddle at night, because I would just love to know. I find it so interesting. So I figured it wouldn't be a 10 things I can't live without video without sunglasses. Now obviously like, I love all sunglasses, but my absolute go-to style would have to be aviator sunglasses, like oversized aviators. I'm obsessed with the key, um, high key ones, which obviously yeah, these these are the silver ones I have them in every single color I have them in the gold the blue the silver the khaki the rose gold literally every single one and also my range that I have with noughts and kisses which are very similar so just an oversized aviator style my personal favorite ones are the all black ones I think they're really kind of like they need it clean, my god they're so dirty. Um, I just think they're quite chic and they go with everything so I'm obsessed with them. Um, I also have the brown ones here which are really nice. So again, similar obviously to the black. Same style, same shape, just a lighter colour. Um, and I just love aviators. I feel like they go with everything. Um, and they're just absolute must have. Like I have, I honestly think I've got about 20 pairs but I have them everywhere. So I've got some in some handbags, I've got loads in the car. So I've always got a pair of aviators just handy and nearby. So that is it guys. That is the 10 things slash 11 um, that I can't live without. Um, I thought, yeah, just a little short video showing some of my absolute favourite things. Um, I hope you have enjoyed watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and also let me know in the comments below about stuffed animals and if you want to see a designer haul, let me know. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!